Hello friends, my name is Alec Bryant and I'm a missionary with the God of Hope Mission in Millville, New Jersey. We have two videos to upload for you this weekend. The first one right here is the mission update for what we've been doing and how God's been working through us here. And the second one is going to be a training so that we can walk you through our process and help you to become better disciple makers as you make more followers of Christ. And that is what we're all about. Look, we're not about saying that we're so great at making disciples, we're so great at leading people to Jesus. We want you all to join in the fun. So tomorrow, be looking for that video here on our YouTube channel. It should post sometime in the early afternoon, and we'll have one-on-one -on -one scenarios for you guys to imitate. Those will be in the description written out for you to practice with your friends. And the other thing is we're going to have two V1 situations or group situations there as well. You can look for these videos to be posted periodically after the first batch tomorrow so that you can practice in different scenarios and just get better. Because you know what they say, uh, failing to plan is planning to fail. And we don't like that here at the God of Hope Mission. Um, if anything, we're guilty of over planning, but God has been faithful to our hard work and the work really has been hard lately. As many of you know, one of the biggest things for us is reaching out to other people through shared meals. Look, you can't really help somebody if they're going hungry and hunger in Millville is a huge problem. It's such a problem that right now a third of children go to bed hungry every night here. So what we've done is we've partnered with a group called Impact Harvest to feed people using fresh produce donated by local farmers. This season is going to look a little bit different. For those of you who came with us, we focused on as a test run last year, just kind of this four block radius around the community garden that we built. But this year, the strategy is a little bit different. We're looking for a strategy that looks a lot more like Luke 9 and 10. So for those of you who don't know what happened in Luke 9 and 10 specifically is when Jesus was telling the disciples to go out and make a difference in the world, he told them to go, go door to door. And for the people that receive you, you know, it says, say, peace be upon you. And when there's a person of peace, your peace will rest upon them and return to you. Um, that, in a nutshell, is the person accepting you and accepting what you have to bring to the table. Um, it's, it's no good if you bring uh, produce and the gospel or, or any other kind of uh, thing attached to the gospel that brings healing if a person doesn't want to accept the healing. So this year, the strategy is to uh, knock on the door, get people to fill out a survey whether they want produce or not. And if they want the produce in prayer, we're going to go to them. So really be praying for us as we were frying this strategy, because last year was a lot of kind of trying to force open doors, and that's not what we want. I mean, even that being said, we, we did have a lot of homes uh, have their doors opened to us and God's work here in Millville, but it could have been a lot more, and we could have made a lot more of a difference. And I'm hoping over the next couple of weeks to take uh, you all with us and do some vlogging while we go door to door with the produce, praying with people so that you can actually interact with some of our new friends. I know that some of them will be really excited to interact with you. I'm sure Jaheel will be happy to. I'm sure T will be happy to. I'm sure Deja and, and, and Wayne will probably be happy. Um, because look, they want to succeed, they want God to do wonderful things in their lives, and having people pray for them is so, so wonderful. So I want to thank you all for, for agreeing and committing to pray with our friends. Now, there's a couple of specific prayer requests this week that I'd like you all to address. Somebody that I really want you to be praying hard for is named Rhonda. Now, Rhonda, she's had some health issues or blood pressure. I can't quite remember what it was, but it was obscenely high. Jaheel, Paul, and I were going to do a Bible study with her this week, but she was just so weak 
um, from the high blood pressure and then from the, the medications and the treatments for what was going on that she couldn't meet. And it, I can't help but feel that Satan wants to get in the way. Uh, because just to quote her without revealing too much, she feels completely alone. Uh, and it's, it's hard whenever you have family that's scattered about and, you know, uh, they might be able to visit you every once in a while, but by and large, you're just kind of stuck. And that's her situation. Um, but we know that that's not what Jesus wants. Um, how we met her was we were going door to door. We were door knocking. And the way that we do door knocking, it's it's not like the Jehovah Witnesses. We're like, hey, would you like to hear the good news of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? That's that's not what we do. We, we don't do that here. What we do is we knock on the door and we have a conversation if that person's willing. So we got into a conversation with Rhonda and found out that she had just lost her brother recently. And she was going through all sort of turmoil and heard about that and... We brought God into that conversation and we said, look, you know, <laughs> the Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He draws near to the crushed in spirit. And we just don't want you to be alone right now. And we asked if we could pray with her. And she said, absolutely. So we prayed with her. And then we asked if we could have her number after that. And she said, sure. Yeah. And this is really how you kind of facilitate a disciple making movement. Right, you, you knock on the door, uh, or you sit down next to somebody at the bar or at the coffee shop, and you have the conversation, and you get into their life. And maybe nothing serious is happening. Maybe they just got their college courses going on, or they just got their work life. That's fine, you know. But you can still connect that with God. You know, things are going good. Just say, oh, God's been good to me, and and God's been good to you, obviously. And I'm thankful for that. You know, that's an in. See how they react. But Rhonda has reacted very positively. So we've decided to move forward and share meals with her and share the Bible with her. Um, so please, please, please be praying that Satan does get in the way of that. Another person I want you all to be praying for is Wayne Hightower. You all have been, many of you, have been praying for him uh, that he would you know, move closer and closer to Jesus, that his family would have a better situation, because right now they're living in the middle of Center City, Millville, which has a lot of problems, uh, but he's been inspired, I, I think, by God to improve his family. He's going to start his own mechanics business there, and he's on this journey of getting all that legal and uh, we're also looking forward to, to sharing some more of the Bible with him and his uh, fiance Erica. That's it's gonna just be it's gonna be wonderful. There's nothing else the other way to put it. Um, as for Jahil, be praying for him as he steps up as a leader in God's church as he's doing Bible studies. It's it's amazing. He, he went from a baby in the faith to you know being a worker in the fields. In almost no time at all. Uh, but with that, he's been attacked. And I think the way that Satan has been attacking him is through his health. So pray for Jahil. Pray for God to keep him healthy. Pray for Rhonda that Satan doesn't get in the way. Continue to pray for Erica as God you know, walks her through the grieving process. And pray for Wayne. Um, pray for that door to keep on being open. But anyway, it's been great talking to you all. I'm looking forward to posting our training video tomorrow. I don't have time to edit that right now. It's killing me. Um, but I'm going to have that content out for you. Like I said, tomorrow. I promise. Um, as for now, remember, you can make disciples too. You can knock on doors to people like Rhonda. You can go connect conversations to the gospel. We're not the only ones. If you got a question, please email the email in the description. And if you want to support us, please connect to us via Patreon. The link is in the description. We'd really appreciate your monthly support. Anyway, until tomorrow, goodbye and God bless.